Good morning! Good morning everyone! How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. It's science time! And today I have a riddle and I want you to think about it. I need you to pay attention to what I'm going to say. Everyone, how many letters do we have in the word science? How many letters are there? Count the letters. Hurry up. Seven letters. Well done. There are seven letters in the word science. So, guess what? We're going to clap our hands seven times and we will shout. It's science time. So, let's do it together. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's science time. So everyone, let's start with our daily routine. Let's read the day and date. I need your help. Today, I want Nura to read the day and date. So... Let's help Nora. What's the day? Thursday. And the date? April 16, 2020. So everyone, I want you to look over here and to tell me what can you see. So everyone, what can you see? Earth. Well done. Excellent. Let's say it one more time. Earth. Well done. So now let's go and read the title of the lesson. Today we have a new lesson. That's why we need to listen carefully, pay attention, and sit properly. Please everyone, don't forget to grab some papers and pencils and write the day and date before starting the lesson so everyone let's go and read our objectives for today so everyone by the end of the lesson you will be able to use models to observe patterns of land found on earth so what does this mean today we are gonna explore and discover something new that's why i want you to be focused so everyone, I found two videos about landforms, so let's watch the videos. The surface of the earth is covered by land and water. We have special names for different kinds of natural features, or landforms, on the Earth's surface. Come explore with me the Earth's landforms. The two largest types of landforms are continents and oceans. Continents are any one of the largest land masses in the world. Traditionally, the Earth is divided into seven continents. From largest to smallest. So everyone, we call these areas, the big areas here, continents, as you can see. They are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. So everyone, we have seven continents. Oceans are large areas of salt water between the continents. Although all of the oceans are connected to each other, making them one big ocean, we divide them into five smaller oceans that are separated by their location and the way the water in them moves. These oceans are the Arctic Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and the Southern Ocean. 
oceans are huge. Together, the oceans cover about 70% of the Earth. The Pacific Ocean is both the largest and the deepest ocean. It covers one third of the Earth's surface. Smaller landforms are created in a variety of ways. Erosion from wind and water can wear down the earth. Volcanoes and shifting tectonic plates can create new land or change the shape of old land. Let's take a look now at some of the different landforms and bodies of water that cover our planet. Mountains are some of the biggest and most recognizable landforms. They have steep sides and high peaks that stand out from the land around them. Smaller, less steep landforms are called hills. Mountains are usually formed when rock layers are pushed together from opposite sides forcing the land up in the middle. The low areas between mountains are called valleys. Mountains may also be formed by volcanic activity, when lava and other materials build up on the surface. But mountains aren't the only landforms that can be made by volcanoes. When lava flows into the sea, it can create brand new land. Sometimes, volcanoes in the ocean create islands. An island is a piece of ground that is completely surrounded by water. Islands can be big or small in any part of the world. The biggest island in the world is Greenland. Australia is bigger than Greenland, but it is so big that it is called a continent instead of an island. Two more landforms that involve a little land and a lot of water are peninsulas and isthmuses. An isthmus is a narrow strip of land with water on both sides, connecting two larger pieces of land. A famous example is the Isthmus of Panama that connects North America to South America. A peninsula is a piece of land that has water on three sides, but is connected on the fourth to the mainland. Two well-known peninsulas are Italy and Florida. Coastal areas have their own types of landforms. Bays, coral reefs, and lagoons are all landforms that may be found on or around the coasts. Another type of coastal landform is the estuary. An estuary is where a river meets the sea. There, the salt water from the ocean mixes with the river's fresh water, and the river spreads out, twisting and turning, wider and wider. Because of the way... So everyone, let's go and watch the other video. What are landforms? They are features of the Earth's surface. There are many kinds of landforms found on the Earth. Mountains are areas that are much higher than the surrounding land. They are very tall and have pointed tops. Hills are also areas that are higher than the surrounding land but are shorter and rounder than mountains. Valleys are areas of low land that are in between mountains or hills. Plateaus are areas that have a flat surface and are higher 
than the ground like mountains. Plains are large areas of flat or gently rolling land. The deserts are areas of dry places that get little or no rain. Islands are areas of land that are completely surrounded by water. Oceans are large bodies of salty water that cover nearly three-fourths of the Earth's surface. Rivers are large streams of water that flow across the land. Lakes are bodies of water with land all around them. We went over some very important landforms today. Now let's do a little quiz to see if you remember some of the landforms we just went over. I am a large area of flat land. Who am I? I am plains. I am very tall and made up of earth and rocks. Who am I? I am mountains. I am shorter than mountains and am round. Who am I? I am hills. I am the area in between two mountains. Who am I? I am valleys. I am an area of land that has water all around me. Who am I? I am an island. I am an area of land that gets no rain and am very dry. Who am I? I am a desert. Great job on the quiz. These so everyone, after watching the video, let's say Alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the earth in such a unique way and as you can see from the video that there are different landforms such as mountains, lakes, rivers and so on. But now let's talk about this picture everyone. Uh, can you tell me what do you see? Tell me what do you see? I see a lot of mountains. Well then, this is a mountain, so today we are going to talk about mountains. So, what do you observe about the land? As we said, we can see mountains. So everyone, I have a question. Listen carefully. So, have you ever seen a mountain before? If you didn't, use your imagination. Try to imagine that you are in a place full of mountains. And tell me what can you see? But everyone, I know that there is a big mountain in UAE. So who can help me? And say the name of this mountain. Jabal Jis. Well done. And it's located in Ras Al Khaimah. So we can say in UAE there are also a lot of mountains. But here I have two questions everyone. Are all mountains rocky? Do all mountains wear snow caps? What does, what does this mean when I say, are all mountains rocky? What does it mean? Means they are made up of rocks. And full of 
rocks. And what does this question mean? Do all mountains wear snow caps? No. You know what does snow caps mean? What does snow caps mean? Means the snow that's on top of the mountain. Well done. So everyone, let's read what's written over here. Let's read it together. If you've ever seen the Rocky Mountains, you can't help but be taken by their beauty, especially when their tops are covered with snow. But are all the mountains covered with snow? Are all the mountains completely made out of rocks? So everyone, look at this picture as you can see. There is a mountain and the top of the mountain is covered by the snow. But do all mountains wear snow caps? No. How do we know? Because Jabal Jeez does not have a snow cap on top. And it's a rocky mountain. So everyone look at these pictures and tell me what do you see? I see houses, trees, and they're on top of ma a mountain. So let's read what's written over here. Most of you may believe that all mountains are just rocky or covered with snow. Today you will know that plants and trees may grow on mountains and people may live and work there too. So everyone what I want to say that uh, people can live on the top of mountains and also as you can see trees may grow also on the top of mountains and people can build houses and live there too so everyone let's move to task time you have task number one and task number two so you can choose one of them or if you want to complete two of them also you can so everyone let's go to read task number one so read the sentences below then write true or false so let's read the first one people can't live on mountains so is it correct or not think about it let's go to the second one not all the mountains are covered in snow or let me say are snow covered so not all the mountains are snow covered think about it you choose true or false let's read the last one there are a lot of mountains in the UAE okay I want you to think about this so let's go to the first one people can't live on mountains what do you think is it false or true false it's false because people can live on mountains let's go to number two not all the mountains are snow covered correct well done because some mountains are rocky so let's go to the last one there are a lot of mountains in the UAE. Correct. Yes, and one example one example was Jabal Jis. Well done. So task number two match the picture with their description. So let's look at the first picture. Just tell me what can you see? What can you see everyone? I can see a house on top of a mountain. And picture number two? I can see mountains on them snow caps. So let's read what's written here and match. Mountains wearing snow caps. The first or the second one? So it's the? First one. Wrong. It's the second one. So, houses on mountains, let's match them together. So, everyone, 
use sticky notes and write what you have learned today finally don't forget to upload your work in your portfolio on class dojo thank you and have a nice week and